हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इन ट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल बाय सब्सक्राइबिंग यू विल गेट एक्सेस टू न्यू वीडियोज एज सुन एज दे आर अपलोडेड एंड इट्स अ ग्रेट वे टू स्टे अप टू डेट विद माई कंटेंट एंड सपोर्ट मी एट द सेम टाइम नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ टू डेज टॉपिक today i am going to talk about organizational messages which is a intune new feature now let's quickly check that today's module schema so i am going to start with organizational messages and then key points and limitation related to organizational messages and the types of organizational messages then we'll discuss about the prerequisites we'll talk about the different types of policies required to configure the organization messages like organizational message delivery policy and the windows spotlight policy and, and then i will perform a end to end demo in lab environment now let's start with the organizational messages so organizational messages are used to send important messages to employees on intune managed windows 11 devices organizational messages can be used to communicate in remote and hybrid work scenarios and is intended to help employees to learn more about their workplace and stay informed of new and required updates and trainings organizational messages appears in highly visible place in windows 11 including the get started apps notification area and just above the taskbar these are the different ways to contact users via different good looking messages to improve end user communication and experience these messages can be delivered as a pop up above the taskbar in the notification area or in the get started apps and last this feature is currently supported only for windows 11 devices now let's talk about some of the key points related to organizational messages so admin cannot customize the message text intune generates the message based on the theme you select assigning messages to devices and a mixed group is not supported if an assigned group includes both users and devices intune will only send the message to the users organizational messages are not supported for users who belongs to more than 200 groups If you recently onboarded your tenant to Azure AD, it can take up to 36 to 64 hours before you are able to use the organizational message features. When you create an organizational message for Get Started app, Microsoft Intune automatically sets the delivery end date to 31 December 2035, which is show in the profile summary. The message will be delivered to the targeted group. until that date or until you cancel the messages scope groups and scope tags are not available in organizational message and the last message priority is not supported if you schedule multiple messages of the same type for the same time window targeted employee will receive the message in a random order now let's talk about the organizational message types so there are three types of organizational messages we can create and these are task bar messages notification area messages and get started app messages so with respect to task bar messages these messages appear just above the desktop task bar the message stay visible until the device user dismiss it the task bar messages are disruptive and good to use when you need to deliver an important notification like a critical software update with respect to notification area messages these message appears in the notification center these notification typically pop up and then disappear we can use them to link employees to informational messages such as a new and available training or optional update important point is that the device users windows 11 focus assist setting may disrupt the visibility of these messages and with respect to get started app messages these messages appears in the get started app the device user sees the message after they enroll their device and then open the get started app we can use this type 
of messages to welcome new employee and link them to resource like benefits, information, essential employee trainings, device tips, policies and support informations. Now let's talk about the prerequisites. So, so the very first prerequisite is related to operating system version requirement. So organizational messages are supported on the device running Windows 11 version 22 H2 or later. So with respect to licensing requirement, organizational message features is supporting Microsoft 365 E3 license, E5 license, EMS E3 and Windows E3 license as well as EMS E5 and Windows E5 license. With respect to role based access control requirement to create organizational messages in Microsoft Intune, you must be assigned one of the following role which include Azure Active Directory Global Administrator, Intune Administrator, organizational message manager or organizational message writer now the next prerequisite is the logo requirement we have to ensure that the logo must meet the following requirement and these are the file should be in png file the background should be transparent and the logo size for taskbar message should be 64 by 64 pixels and for notification area message it's 48 by 48 pixels and for get started app messages it's 50 pixels long and 100 pixels wide. So with respect to URL requirements, the domain for your custom destination URLs must be added to your list of verified Azure Active Directory custom domain names. Now the next prerequisites is related to policy requirement. So there are certain experience policy and Windows Spotlight policies in Microsoft Intune that blocks the delivery of organizational message and we have to adjust all the settings so that the delivery is always allowed and worked as intended. So this policy is required for device running on Windows 11 version 22 H2 build version 10.0.22621.900 and later. This policy is not required on the device running on earlier version and if you do not enable this policy, the devices cannot receive the organizational messages. So the very first policy we have to adjust is organizational message delivery policy and, and we have to enable the delivery of organizational messages in all the existing and new policies that are targeted at users and devices receiving the organization policy and to do this we have to go to setting catalog under experience we have to select the enable delivery for organization message users and, and then enable the delivery of organization messages by switching the toggle to enable and the next policy we have to configure is the windows spotlight policy so we can configure the windows spotlight policy in many ways you can use the template profile to create a spotlight policy you can use setting catalog profile to create a spotlight policy or even you can use a policy csp to create a spotlight policy so you can use any of the one method to create the spotlight policy mainly we have to configure the setting to allow taskbar messages to allow notification area messages and to allow get started app messages now let's see how we can implement the organizational messages so to do this the very first thing we have to configure the required policies and to configure the required policies we have to go to the devices and under devices we have to go to the configuration profiles and then we have to create a policy and then we have to select the platform windows 10 and later and the profile type should be setting catalog and then click create now we have to provide the name of the policy so i'm going to provide the name of the policy and same thing under description and then click on next now we have to add the settings now we have to search for enable delivery of organizational messages which is under experience so i'm going to click on experience and then enable it and then just enable it and then click on next and then next and then assign to all user or device for now i'm going to assign to all devices and click on next and then create now we have configured the organization message delivery policy. Now we have to create a new policy to configure the windows spotlight. 
I am going to use the setting catalog method uh, to create the policy. For that, I am going to click on create profile and then we have to select the platform Windows 10 and later and then profile type should be setting catalog and then click create. Now we have to provide the name of the policy. So I am going to provide the name Windows Spotlight policy. Same thing I am going to provide in the description and, and then click on next. Now we have to add the settings. So the very first policy we have to search for allow Windows Spotlight users and under experience we can allow Windows Spotlight users and then within that we need to ensure that the allow Windows Spotlight user should be allowed as well as the next one is allow Windows tip should also be allowed and then third one is allow Windows Spotlight on Action Center that should also be set to allow and we have to add one more policy called disable cloud optimized content under user experience we have to unselect this and we have to ensure that the disable cloud optimized content should be disabled and then click on next and then click on next and then assign to all users or all devices i am going to assign to all the devices and then click on next and then create now the next thing we have to do is to create the organizational message policy and to create this we have to go to the tenant administration under tenant administration we have to go to the organizational messages and then click on organization messages and then we have to configure the setting under overview so in bottom we can see that before you create a message policy we need to allow the organizational messages policies which we already did that and then we have to decide whether we want to block the message directly from the Microsoft while allowing admin message to display for now I am going to leave it as it is and then third one is, is to ensure that we have to create a proper logo now all prerequisites are in place let's start creating the policy so to do this we have to go to the messages and under message we have to create a policy and in policy type we have to select which kind of policy we want to create for now i'm going to create a policy for taskbar and then under message theme we have only one theme mandatory update and then we have to click on ok here we have to provide the logo and then we have to provide a link for the message for now i'm going to select my current domain if you are not able to see the domain under this location then you have to ensure that under azure under custom domain name we have to add a domain and it should be reflecting under this location and then we have to select the language and i am okay with english language and if you like dark theme then you can switch it i am okay with the dark theme and then we have to click on schedule and here we have to provide the first day to show message and uh, we have to provide the date so you, it's saying that you need to finish creating your message at least one day before this date and then we have to provide the last day to show message i am going to provide the last date and then we have to select the frequency of message repetition so here we have three options once a week once a month and once every two weeks i am okay with once a week and then click on assignment here you can assign this to a specific user group or you can include all groups for now i am okay with include all users and then click on review and create and then create and just refresh it now we can see that the message type taskbar and the message theme is mandatory update is now created and scheduled and it is a start date is this and end date is this we can see that the time show time clicked and then click to rate now let's see how we can create a notification area message policy so to do this we have to create a new policy and the message type should be notification area and here you have to select the message theme so we have many i'm okay with the organizational hr training theme and click on okay then we have to add the logo and then we have to provide the link for the message and then we have to choose the language i'm okay with english language and then i'm going to switch to the dark mode and then we have to click on schedule here we have to provide the first day to show the message and the last day to show the message and the message frequency we have to set i'm okay with once a week and then click on assignment 
here i'm going to add all users and then click review and create and now create and now notification area policy is also created now let's see how we can create get started app message policy so to do this we have to create a new policy and the message type should be get started apps and then we have to click on ok and then we have to provide the logo and then we have to add the first message so i'm going to select the first message as review benefits and here we have to provide the message and then we have to add a link if needed so i'm going to provide the link just for testing purpose and then click ok and then we have to add the second message so i'm going to provide the organization training and then we have to provide the link so i'm going to select the domain name and then under link i'm going to provide my youtube url path for testing purpose and click ok and then we have to select the theme type so i'm okay with black theme and then click on next and schedule here we have to enable it always on and then click on assignment here i'm going to add all users and then review and create and then we have to review it and then we have to create it now get started app policy is also created and it's showing as active now let's see what is the end user experience when they are receiving the different types of organizational messages so before checking the end user experience i want to update you all that i had some licensing issue in my lab and for that reason i have to rebuild the new lab and assign the required license to the user and i configured the light mode theme in message instead of dark mode and if you want to know how to create free in tune trial lab then you can refer my module number 1.3 and i will also provide the link in the description and now we can see that after some time i am getting an organization message under taskbar and this organizational message under taskbar is not going to remove automatically either we have to click on cancel this or we have to take any action on this device and user have two option either user can use not now option or they can also use more detail option now we can see that we also have a message under notification area we are getting the same template which we configured in the Indian portal if you click on this template get training it's going to open the url which we configured now with respect to get started app let's see what is the end user experience when they are logging in the device at very first time now i am going to provide my password and then we have to search for get app now we can see that it's a personalized window where i'm getting my name and it's saying that let's make sure everything is set up just how you want it and then we have to click on get started and now we are getting the same template which we created in the engine portal and if you click on review benefits it's going to open the link which we provided because i have provided the link which is not working that's why it's not showing if you remove the first part and just click enter then it's going to provide the same thing so in, in production environment you have to ensure that whatever link you are providing you are able to access that uh, link and same thing if you click on get training here also we can see that we are not able to open the url because that url is not correct so i i have to remove the first part and then then hit ok and now we are able to see that we can open the url which we entered it so in production environment again we have to test this url and make sure that whatever url you are conferring in your policy that should be working i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video